सेटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ सेटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन दैट इज डायरेक्ट ब्रॉडकास्ट सेटेलाइट टीवी एंड रेडियो यू कैन सी हियर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिशेज दैट इज टाटा स्काई वीडियो कॉन एयरटेल बिग टीवी डिश टीवी सन टीवी पॉपुलरली पॉपुलरली नोन एज डी टी एच नॉट इज दैट इज डायरेक्ट टू होम ब्रॉडकास्ट सिस्टम हियर यू कैन सी अ ब्रॉडकास्टर दैट इज ट्रांसमिटिंग दिस टेलीविजन सिग्नल टू द सेटेलाइट and satellite downlinks it back to the subscribers so number of subscribers uh, falling in the footprint of the satellite can receive this dth signal now this is a typical earth station uh, shown from the book itself uh, that is pratt bostian the virginia tech earth station complex in blacksburg virginia so here you can see several antennas receiving antennas of different sizes so this one is 9 meter c band kaise grain fm tv antenna This is 5.5 meter KU band Cassegrain antenna, and this is a similar set Taurus reflector with seven feeds to receive video signal from seven satellites simultaneously. And be behind you can see several small other antennas receive type antennas only. Now, this is again a uh, graph from taken from the book itself, textbook that is Pratt. Uh, although the graph is up to 2001, but the pattern that uh, has been followed is similar. you can see that uh, with the increase in year as we are advancing towards 2001 to 2020 you can see that the there is a steep fall in the prices of the dbs tvs and whereas the number of subscriber has grown equivalently and uh, equal equally steeply so in 2020 also uh, the prices are almost nil you just get a dish installed and uh, you have to pay per channel price the channels which you want to view that only you have to pay and a small network capacity fee that you have to pay ncf and the sizes of dishes as we have migrated from c band to k band have reduced to 1 to 2 meter that can be easily installed in balconies or in the rooftops and uh, to remote locations also earlier when we were having c band transmission uh, the sizes of dish was very, very large that is 6 meter up to 6 meter diameter and that was not easy to install in the balconies but with the with the uh, shifting from c band to ku band and uh, um, the sizes of dish antennas has reduced significantly now this uh, dbs tv uses three body access stabilization satellites they employ large sailors uh, solar sails to generate dc power required by satellite transponder the receiving antenna has a wide beam typically uh, for a 4.4 meter dish yeah for 1 to 2 meter dish the beam forces wide spacing dbs tv satellite to avoid interference at the receiving antenna by signals from the adjacent dv dbs tv satellites so you can see here this is three uh, body access stabilized satellite and these are the solar cells and uh, the transponder is mounted somewhere here so a 9 degree spacing in the geostationary arc has been decided by the us and it is different for different uh, uh, countries and it is decided decided by the itut and that this restricts the number of dbs tv satellites then can be placed in the geostationary orbit in general dbs tv satellite has 32 high power transponders they cover 12.2 to 12.7 gigahertz broadcast satellite band the satellite located in each orbit transmit in opposite hands of the circular polarization so the signal will uh, with opposite hands of circular polarizations are orthogonal they are perpendicular to each other and an earth station can separate two signals with opposite hands of circular polarization in general in a dbs tv receiving terminal a, an electronically controlled polarizer is used behind the antenna feed the polarizer can be tuned to left hand circular polarization lhcp or right hand circular polarization that is rscp and by changing the voltage supplied to the low noise block that is lnv uh, converter unit at the antenna we can change this uh, polarization schemes also uh, in general a supply voltage of 7 volt will make the antenna receive a polarization signal and reject the other if the voltage is increased above 14 volt the antenna switches to the other polarizations now here uh, dbs tv receiving antennas you can see these these are the receiving tv antennas and this what i was talking about low noise block converter or lnb uh, or also known as lna low noise amplifier in general low terms we know call it lnb so these antennas are uh, to be pointed towards the uh, transmitting satellite antenna and uh, here 
this antenna is having only one feed whereas this antenna is having two feeds so you can see here also direct tv antenna mounted on the wall of a house dish network this one Antenna mounted on a post. Note that the two feeds to allow reception from two satellites at separate location in the geostationary orbit. So this has two feeds and the single uh, this reflector dish. Now this is the block diagram of a DBS TV receiver. The front end of the receiver is located at the antenna feed in the form of a LNB, which you can see here. This this is LNB. To minimize the loss of signal and maintain the low system noise temperature, the signal, the up, up, uh, the downlink signal that is uh, coming from the satellite in the range 12.2 to 12.7 gigahertz is received by this uh, signal, the KU band antenna. So the electronic polarizer is switched by changing the voltage supplied to the LNB through the cable that interconnects the antenna and stop uh, and set top receiver. The 12.2 to 12.7 Gigahertz complete band is down converted by the LNB to 900 to 1400 MHz band where cable losses are lower than the KU band. So here you can see this is the blow up of this LNB. It consists of LNA, a image rejection bandpass filter that is uh, sending the signal to the mixer, a local oscillator that is working at 11.3 GHz. So it is converting the 12.2 to 12.7 gigahertz band to completely 900 to 1400 uh, megahertz IF amplifier. Now after this, the signal is in this range that is transferred. Tra now from the figure we can see that the down convert con uh, converter consists of a dielectric resonator, local oscillator and mi mixer. This one, local oscillator and this mixer circuit, complete mixer circuit, and uh, it is followed by an IF amplifier and bandpass filter here and this is transmitted uh, so this high gain LNB can uh, drive 100 meter of coaxial cable without any reduction in the signal quality so this coaxial cable takes the signal to the set top box where longer, longer cable runs are required the amplifier for the 900 to 1400 megahertz band can be inserted in between the cable to increase the signal strength the set top box, this this one, this is the inside of the set top box, accepts the complete 500 megahertz band. It separates out the individual transponder frequencies. Any one of the frequencies can be selected on demand by the user. The user enters a required channel number into the set top box and he is able to receive the signal of that particular desired channel using an IR remote control. The desired channel is converted to a stored lookup table in the receiver to an RF channel frequency and polarization. The signal from the required transponder is then selected by the receiver by setting correct polarization at the antenna and tuning the set top local oscillator to appropriate IF channel frequency. Here now we can see the QAPSK signal that we have received here, we have received the signal, then again it is passed to the mixer and it is again de uh, converted to 7, 70 megahertz and it is passed to a QPSK demodulator which converts is to a baseband signal and then uh, we get the QPSK signal is then demodulated the result is a multiplex bit stream the rate is 40 Mbps it contains bits of 362 channels and other video signals also the bit stream is then encrypted it contains error control coding bits and data bits the bit stream is processed to detect and correct the errors. A digital multiplexer extracts the bits for the required channel and sends them to the MPG2 decoder which we can see in the figure here. It finally generates analog, video and audio signal with DA converters to drive the TV set. The lookup table in the receiver relates the channel numbers to frequencies, polarizations and instructions for the TDM multiplexer is downloaded from the satellite on a regular schedule. It allows the service provider to change the transponder that carries a particular signal and to modify the mixture of signals in a given transponder as required. The customer is not generally aware of the changes, he has to download the tables. The satellite is used to address individual receivers and load another lookup table that specifies for which channel the user is authorized to receive. If the user fails to pay his or her bills, to the service provider then the receiver will show a message that service has been disconnected or you are not eligible to receive this channel due to the failure in making timely payment or you have not subscribed this channel. 
the above pro process requires a smart card that has to be inserted into the set top box the smart card identifies each receiving antenna system and enables decryption of the satellite signals we are all are generally familiar with this system we all have now a set top box in which a smart card with this identification number is there and we prepay the uh, the channels which we want to see and uh, according to that now error control in digital dbs tv a transmitter error control is achieved in similar way as in cd the compressed digital video signal bit stream is first split into blocks of bits and encoded with reed solomon linear block code the coded bit stream is then interleaved this is coded again with a convolution code the double layer of error control coding is called a concatenated code at receiver similarly at receiver and the recovered bit stream is decoded we have encoded at transmitter end and we are now decoding uh, at the rec receiver end with Wetterbeek decoding algorithm to remove the convolution coding a limited number of errors in bit streams are corrected whatever errors are uh, entered into the uh, while transmitting the signal are corrected the corrected bit stream is then deinterleaved we have interleaved at uh, the transmitter end and now we are deinterleaving at the receiving end finally a reed solomon decoding algorithm is applied so this is the complete block diagram of coding and decoding operations in a dbs tv so this is the transmitter part and this is the receiver part first we input the data then we reed solomon encode it and the corresponding reed solomon decoder at the receiver end we interleave it and corresponding deinterleaver at receiver end convolution code encoder and convolution decoder so the process is simpler first we convolution encode then we decode interleave then deinterleave and then read solomon encode and then decode and we get the data output this is the master control dish network uplink earth station you can see a complete antenna farm and this earth station is producing the receiving the baseband signal from some place and then it is uplinking to the satellites this is the simplified block diagram of a dbs tv uplink earth station direct broadcast television satellites are relay devices that provide a very large coverage area serving millions of customers so we can see here that uh, analog video and audio signal goes to adc where it is converted from analog to digital signal uh, before converging before mpeg encoding so master station collects the many signals that are broadcasted by the satellite and uplink them to satellites by a group of large antennas with a fade margin sufficient to overcome any expected rain fade because we ensure that the link should be available for 99.99% of the time that is only 0.01% of outage is acceptable in a, any satellite link the uplink station must transmit hundreds of signals to the tvs tv satellite 24 hours a day 365 days a year that means most of the signals are pre-recorded either from satellite feeds which are used to distribute new video and audio program material or from archived material the signals are mainly stored in digital form allowing direct multiplexing into bit stream for the individual transponder analog signal must be digitized and compressed before multiplexing which has been shown here um, first it is converted into digital then encoded then multiplex then again re uh, re solomon encoded interleaved and then convolution encoded so uh, once an uplink antenna will typically transmit up to 16 radio frequency channels to one dbs tv satellite each rf signal is a qpsk modulated ku band carrier with a symbol rate of up to 20 20 mega symbols per second occupying a bandwidth up to 27 megahertz the encoded compressed and multiplexed bit stream drives a video exciter which generate qpsk modulator which generates qpsk modulation of an intermediate the encoded here encoded compressed and multiplexed bit stream drives a video exciter this one which generate qpsk modulation of intermediate frequency at 70 megahertz the 70 megahertz signal is up converted to transponder input frequency in the transmitter which contains a traveling wave tube amplifier hpa here the hpa is usually rated at much higher power than its normal operating output power level which provides sufficient output back off of the hpa to ensure linear operation the signal of number of hpas are multiplexed together in a microwave combiners and sent to an antenna feed for transmission to the satellite 